Welcome to Gray and Mac. We are asked to solve this problem. We have a right triangle ABC and uh, this uh, right triangle ABC has its angle A bisected into two parts uh, via this uh, uh, segment AN. And this segment AN uh, from N, if it is, uh, it has a segment upwards that is one unit and it is perpendicular to uh, the longer leg of this uh, right tri blue right triangle and this uh, forms a small right triangle uh, this uh, white uh, right triangle and we are required to find the uh, area of triangle ABC Okay, so for this problem, since we are concerned on finding the area, so it is best that we will only look for this uh, segment AC uh, because it is it has all this segment AC okay, because already the base is given to be uh, 5 units from C to point B. So if we get this uh, height, then we are now on the easy way to find the area of this right triangle okay so i have added uh, another point o uh, that intersects the longer leg uh, intersection of a n and the longer leg okay so for this problem we will be using uh, several equations and uh, one equation is we will use the angle bisector theorem uh, because we have here in our case beta and beta which is uh, the sum of angle a because a is actually divided given to be divided into two equal angles and to have a review of this angle bisector theorem uh, it states that when an angle in a triangle is split into two equal angles then in this uh, particular example if we make this larger this this in this case this is the angle and the other equal angle so let's say this is theta and this is theta and it is said that when an angle in a triangle is split into two equal angles it divides the opposite sides into two parts so the two parts is in this example it is x and y so x and y has a ratio the ratio of these parts is equal to so in this case if we take the ratio which is x and y so x over y it is equal to equal to the ratio of the parts of the sides next to them so for the side next x it is a and for the side next to y it is b so a over b is equal to the ratio of x and y so a over b is equal to x over y okay so next step is we label the length so since uh, this uh, length cm is 5 and it is divided by the two uh, similar triangles which is uh, this triangle this triangle aoc and this triangle M N O, uh, they are similar because, of course, of this fact that they have a vertical angle here. So let's say this is alpha and alpha. And since M O N is actually a right triangle, then the uh, angle here should be the complement. So the complement of angle alpha is beta. If you look on triangle A O C, so this will be beta. So these two triangles are similar. So uh, it is best that we label this as x. And this will be uh, 5 minus x because they are actually related to each other. Okay, so next is we label the uh, shorter leg of this blue triangle to be a. Okay. So this is a. 
and the hypotenuse to be C. Okay, so next is we apply the angle bisector theorem. So we have here the uh, divided side. So the first side is this, we may say 5 uh, minus x. And this is, the other is 5 plus x, this side. Because as you can see, it is given that 5 plus x is opposite this angle beta. And the other is this OC. And the other is OB. And from our representation, OB is 5 plus x. And OC is uh, 5 minus x. So the ratio of that uh, 5 minus x over 5 plus x is equal to the ratio of the sides corresponding uh, near to them. So for the 5 minus x corresponding is a and for 5 plus x this is actually 5 so this is 5 plus x and the corresponding to 5 plus x is c and Okay. Okay. So next is we can uh, make another equation uh, by Pythagorean theorem. So the hypotenuse is actually C. So the hypotenuse should be squared by Pythagorean theorem. So C squared is equal to the one leg, which is the shorter leg to be A. So A squared plus. Uh, and the other leg is given to be 10 units, so this will be 10 squared. So C squared is equal to A squared plus 100. Okay, so next is we make an equation by the fact that this uh, triangle AOC is actually similar to triangle MNO, this triangle and this triangle. So uh, we can actually uh, use the opposite side over the adjacent side. So if you focus on this beta, this should be beta also. And for triangle AOC, if you, uh, let's highlight this. So the opposite to beta is 5 minus x. So that will be 5 minus x. Sorry, 5 minus x. So be 5 minus x over the adjacent side, which is a. It is equal to the same uh, ratio if you focus on this triangle MNO. The opposite the angle beta is uh, x so that would be x and the adjacent side is 1 so we can say by cross multiplying we have 5 minus x times 1 is 5 minus x equal to uh, ax so we can actually uh, group this in such a way that we will represent x in terms of a so this becomes ax plus ax so we put this to the right hand side is equal to 5 so we can actually factor out the x here so x times a plus 1 is equal to 5 and if we divide both sides by a plus 1 a plus 1, x will be equal to, uh, this cancels out, so x will be equal to 5 over a plus 1. Okay, so next is we use this uh, 5 over this equation. Five, x is equal to 5 over a plus 1 in this first equation that we got earlier. So. Uh, a over uh, that will be 5 minus uh, 5 over a 
plus 1 all over 5 plus x which is 5 over a plus 1 is equal to a over c okay so we just need to uh, get the lcd of the numerator so that would be a plus 1 so 5 times a plus 1 so we multiply 5 times a plus 1 minus uh, 5 and for the denominator we have here 5 times a plus 1 again plus 5 all over a plus 1 and equal to a over c and we can simply cancel out this a plus 1 and we simply simplify this on the numerator we have 5a plus 5 minus 5 and it cancels out all over 5a plus 5 plus 5 is equal to a over c and therefore this 5 over a we can just copy that 5 or 5 5a i mean all over 5a plus 10 is equal to a over c and we can cancel this a actually okay so we can actually factor out the denominator we have 5 over 5 times a plus 2 okay is equal to 1 over c okay and we can actually cancel out this 5 and cross multiply so we have c is equal to a plus 2 cross multiply so c is equal to a plus 2 okay so next is we uh, go back to the pythagorean equation that we got earlier uh, c square is equal to a square plus 100 and we have got uh, a while ago that c is equal to a plus 2 so that would be a plus 2 for c and it is squared is equal to a square plus 100 and we just square this binomial on the left so a square plus 4a plus 4 is equal to a square plus 100 and we can cancel this out a square and we simply put this i mean we subtract 4 minus 4 and minus 4 so this becomes this cancels out and this becomes 4a is equal to 96 and if we divide both sides by 4 then we have a to be equal to uh -huh, this is 24 okay so now that we got the value of uh, a to be 24 or the a is actually the uh, the height ac or the height of that right triangle so it will now be easy to find the area so area is equal to one half times the base the base is actually 10 so 5 plus 5 and the height is actually 24 okay so we cancel this this becomes 24 over 2 is 12 12 times uh, 10 this becomes 10 actually so area is equal to 120 square units and that is our answer so thank you for watching until the end of the video please like the video if you like our solution and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you will be updated for more math videos like this and also on the comment section if you have other solution you can just simply write it down on the comment section and Thank you for watching. Bye.